Let's do it, chat. It's been a while. It's been like a week and a half since we've looked at some really shitty aquariums. Let's see what new things the internet has cooked up for us. What beautiful, beautiful crafts. What? They added a sidebar. They added a sidebar. Now I can't see anything properly. Oh, what is this? This isn't it. Is this it? That's not it. Is this it? It's not bad, but it's not really what I wanted. Is this it? No. What about this? No, that's not it. What about this? 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 Too many transitions. I'm sorry, I'm trying to fix this thing. Okay. Okay, we'll just do this. Pop of the week, since we haven't been here in a week. Just bought a betta fish and didn't realize and realized I don't have a tank or bowl for it. Is anyone who has one they don't need to be giving to me? You bought a fish and then realized you don't have something to put it in. What was your plan? How is that an afterthought? That's Bogers. crazy. That's like putting the milk in before the cereal. What are you doing? I don't understand. <laughs> you have to know. Restaurant in Iowa has a Cayman tank for no reason. Cayman tank? Oh my. You guys can't see. There's just a freaking Cayman in there. <laughs> like that's a whole ass Cayman. And it doesn't even fit front to back in the tank. That's crazy. I've seen some bad like crocodilian tanks, but I don't think I've ever seen something that bad. It's not on the most stable of surfaces, but it's not that bad. I wonder why that died. It definitely wasn't the leftover chlorine or the water that could be confused for piss. <laughs> yep, classic Zach Ketchum. This is like the fucking 20th time that he's filled a pool with fish and then something has happened and they've all died. And then he makes this video and it gets a shitload of views. Look at this. 340,000. Look at this. Dead. My pet fish are all dead. Biggest heartbreaking mistake ever. Like, it's insane. Just the clickbaiting. You, and you watch the video and you feel bad because it seems like he genuinely cares about the animals. But I mean, with the freaking clickbait and how often this happens, it's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, that's nice. That looks like a specimen container. That looks like what I would... That's actually smaller than a specimen container. The container that I use to put fish in for like five seconds to take a photo when I catch them is bigger than this. <laughs> Just found a 10 gallon fish with an alive fish in it in my attic. Has to be a goldfish, right? Only a goldfish is that resilient. Where is the alive fish? Oh, I saw something moving around. Yeah, the water just slowly evaporated. Oh God, yep. A lot of people tagged me in this one. The just hellish pipe system goldfish tank. Oh god, it looks so awful. And then in the comments it says, rate this aquarium design. And the comments are all like, zero. <laughs> now here's the difference. At, at one side, it's attached to... Like, they almost did it. It's attached to this thing. This is way too small. This thing here. But if this was like an actual tank and the fish could kind of just adventure into the pipes as they wanted to... I could see this being kind of cool. Of course, they might get lost in the pipes or whatever, but what, a, uh, you know, that could be kind of cool, but they just barely, barely messed it up by having that at the end. I hate TikTok. <laughs> Wonder where this is going. Ah, yes, just put, what is that, a molly? Is that a mosquito fish or a molly? Looks like a molly. Yeah, just throw a molly in there. Feeding my children. Why is the water white? How does the water even end up white? How does that happen? What, like, usually the water gets like yellow or green. How do you get milky water? What possible contamination have you found that are giving you milky water? <laughs> They're in yogurt. Crystal clear water. It doesn't even look real. It looks like there's no water in there. This is so crystal clear. That's not a good thing, by the way. Oh, that's a nice tank for your children to learn how to take care of fish. That's very nice. Big fan of that. And they're like perfectly spaced. Oh, there's four. I didn't even see the one in the back. Lovely. Part where the dead Tetra floated by killed me. What is this? 
they're showing off the nano fish tank and just they have a dead fish just float by in the background. <laughs> How did they not? <laughs> that seems like the kind of thing that the marketing department should have paid attention to. <laughs> Could they really just not record the clip again or not include that clip? Yet yeah, literally you had one job and it was to make the aquarium look decent. And you failed at your one job. You can plug your phone into it? Why? Why? Why do you need to do that? Why? Do, who needed that? Who was like, yeah, I need to charge my phone with my fish tank. Facebook Marketplace. Fa <laughs> Jesus. Facebook Marketplace really does seem to be the home of just terrible tanks. Look at this empty ass gold fish tank. Friends fish tank. It's so sad, man. It just doesn't look good. I don't understand. It just doesn't look good, you know? Like, if it was aesthetically appealing and it was abusive, I'd be like, okay, I understand how people get here by not realizing that it's abusive and just going for the aesthetics, but it's not aesthetically appealing. It just looks bad. Well, at least you got him a carpet. At least you knitted him a little mat. Now, remember how I was saying it was ugly? Now, this cloudy water on this... <laughs> This knitted mat, now this is aesthetically appealing. The octagon aquariums, again, this just looks terrible. The octagon ones, I don't understand it. I don't see this ever being like aesthetically appealing. It's just like weird. Jeez, is there a strip in there? What is that, a temperature strip? So you've got a fake thing on top, this tiny ass tank, but at least you've got a temperature strip. They are happy they got plenty of space, it's just fishes anyways. <laughs> yeah, they got plenty of space, man. They could get from one side of the tank to the other in half of a second. Dude, what is with the cloudy water? I swear I never see, like, white water. It's all- yeah, this is what I usually see. This is like you did not clean your water well enough, there's some tannin leaching, whatever. You get yellow water, or green is like overexposure to sunlight, or feeding too much, or getting algae. But white water? <laughs> We're coming across too often today. Jesus. That's, uh... Amazing that they're alive. My goldfish loves it. Easy setup and looks great in bedroom. Yeah, he loves it. That's why he's swimming against the glass trying to escape. He loves it so much that he's just constantly in a state of fear and panic and trying to escape. That's what people usually do when they love things, right? Jesus. Or Oscar. God. It's so big. A display on my local fish store. This is how you know. Like, this should be a clear indication that you should not listen to anything that these employees say. The fish store that I worked at was actually, like, I would say the arowana tank was pretty small. Like, the monster, the monster tank in the back was too small for what it had in it, but everything else in the, in the store was really great. I, and people are going to trust their opinions. People are going to listen to them on stuff because it's a fish store, because they seem like they should be credible. It's crazy. What am I looking at here? Oh, it's just like a dead betta fish sitting on a palace step. Okay. What? Bro, they don't even fit head to tail. How? He loves it. He's so happy. People will literally have this and be like, he's so happy. Oh God. Is this outside too? This is about to be the most algae filled, dead fish filled globe. <laughs> this is gonna be just floating dead fish covered in algae. That's lovely. Okay, that's uh, that's enough of that, huh?